so coming to program this uh, for uh, S60. So what I'll do now is. So this is the point, the soldering point. So you can see the soldering point, and I'm going to read it, the diagram for my device. And it's two ways. You can use either the emo or the programming function. The emo you choose and select the vehicle and read it. But you can also use the programming function and go to. So let me connect my device. So let me go back. So when you go to programming programmer, you go to programmer and accept. Mm. Go to chips and write. Then you choose immobilizer, then Volvo. Choose Volvo, and this type is CM type 1. Okay, so read data, then check the schematic. So just check the schematic. So these are the ways red, blue, red. So now what I'll do is I'll connect them and I'll connect it to the programmer. So as it is shown here, that's the same thing shown here. So I've placed the lid on it. So now I'll do the connection and start reading it. So now I'm done with the connection on the P and it has been connected to successful so what I'll do is I'll go back and read the data so I'll go back and read the data as it is on it as the same way uh, I've done on this one also so I'll go back and read the data so now I set go back now go to read so that I can read the data from it if the connections are okay to read if they are not okay to read and the connections are okay and voila it is reading so this is the file that i have to save the bin file that i have to save so let me name it let me name it with the vehicle data let me do it a60 2013 RIG which means original so let me check where the data is it's a program programmer so save save successfully so go back and read the data also to read and I think so let me save this one also <laughs> data is six zero Twenty thirteen. 
save I will go back and also go to the flash with the flash so I can only read the flash by this I can write it but with the EPROM I can write it which contains the key I can rewrite it and reading the flash might take quite a while to read so it's still reading because the flash is quite heavy so it will take a while for it to read it's heavier than the EEPROM file so most of the time the flash takes a while when reading so after this I'll read the second one so what the customer did was he bought another used part but that one contains seven and is 2011 so what I'll do is I'll save this data that so I've added our, our ORG which means the original file that's why I've added it to it so I'll save that data I'll save that data and read the used one that he bought also and keep it so i'll try to write the key for this one when it doesn't go through or when there is other fourth code then i use the other one but i'll write the two files down and save them so that in case of anything doing the programming on the vehicle i can do it direct so that i don't come in again and come and do this connection again and read the file I'll save all those files for the S60-2013 and you can see the programmer is reading it but I've not tried it yet on the PC and see if it will work reading it from the PC so it's at 95 and it's almost done with the reading So this is the flash file, so I'll save it also as flash x60 x60 2013 org save this file also okay and go back back and I'm done so I'll try and do the other one also from the other one so after after getting the key I can read the key and write the key to the system and write it and it's so I'm trying to write the key dump or check the number of keys in it so there's x60 and that's the r5 and I have to load the key data which is the es okay to know the number of key in the system now that I've read the okay so now you can see only one key is in the system so let me try and see if I can make it and I don't think this is the original key but so I'll find for the original key and make a key of it so that it will be easier for me. Or let me try making a key. Reading the key. Wow. And a key. Yes. So it's trying to create a data and write the key into it. If it is a wrong key, it will fill. Because it's a wrong key, so 
into another right into it okay then let me go back back so this is the second the used one that the customer bought so i've connected that one and i've read the files already when i place the machine on it to program the key it told me there was three keys in it already so i'm come to check if there is three keys registered in it already with the dam so let me read 2011 okay let me read the dump and see the number of keys in it so there is the number of keys in the dump so let me try and make key and see if this one it will work so that is the fourth key we are making and right in the key can see the programmer is flashing wow yes so let me add oh, sorry so let me add oh new key So that means the key belongs to this one so new key let me save that file and I'm going to write so key is ready we write the new bin to the chip okay so it's been connected and you can see the key ID is 2 that means this key has been written to the car already so what I'll do is the key has been written to it already and it was from home so what they said is we should program the key to the vehicle so I just took the dump out and wrote the key to it not when the key is written to the vehicle already so I wouldn't write it to it I wouldn't write the dump to the unit again what I'll do is now that I've gotten the dump when I go I'll do all key lost and add the key to it in the process and you can see the same number the same key ID so that means and this key is locked so let me go and read the key that means this key is programmed to it's written already so let me go back and read the key ID key auto detect So you can see the key ID and that is the same key ID written in the key and the key lock status is locked so that means all I need to do is I have to go and I have to go and program the key to it with the dump so I think that's what I'll do but now I'll connect it to the PC also and read it. 